we make all the pastries again? Yes, we will, so tomorrow we won't have to. Mukadis, dear. Hmm? You can come and help now if you like. I can't make them like you do. That's another way of getting out of helping. Oh, that's not the reason why. I'll come help in a few minutes after I'm done. <laughs> what happened? Uh, something I thought about. What? <laughs> it doesn't matter. She's laughing at me because I'm helping her. She's very surprised. No, I'm not laughing because of that. I remembered my first night with Kadir at the hotel. Oh, yes? So we had dinner in our room. So romantic. There were flowers and candles on the table, and the meal was all laid out with such very chic, lovely silver covers. And I opened one, and guess what I saw? <laughs> Stop, please. <laughs> oh, love, bless you. Just the day before that day, I made a 1,500 of them. I was very tired, and there they were again. <laughs> then Kadir helped you to relieve your tiredness. There's nothing to be angry about. It's girl talk. Come on, tell me. You're kidding me. So? You were in bed with someone for the first time? Oh, Mukadis, watch your tongue. It's not bad. I wonder what you felt. I felt that... I felt that I was happy. Think about it. There's someone in your life. You love and you're loved too. He's in your life and you share everything. He is your whole world. And you love him and he shares your thoughts too. All you know is you're happy. And so you laugh and look forward to more of all the wonderful things that you'll share. I think loving someone makes you happy. Well, I would agree with you. I'm twice as happy with two children. <laughs> Mukadish, you're too much. <laughs> well, okay, keep telling, go on. But it's not something that you can tell. The happiness of being close to the one you love, it's different. Sharing a bed is not important. Being together when you're sleeping is, I mean, just sleeping with him in peace and being happy. It's all those things. That's what's really important. You're very romantic, I think. I'm just telling you what I felt. I'm not romantic more than you are. But it's someone who's making you talk like that. It's nice. I wonder where you'll go for your honeymoon. I wonder how happy you'll be. About my goal. Ah, his ears must be burning. We're in the kitchen. How are you? We're very good, thank you. Is it busy there? Yes, it is. Hey, are you okay? Did something happen? No! We were just talking girl talk. A little bit of romance. you liked it. I will go and make some tea. Good idea. I'd love some tea. Make it. Come on, boy. Let's go. We need to wash our hands. Shall we go outside, Fatmagul? I don't know. Well, we can walk, and then we can have our tea. Shall we go out? No, you can't. I just mean that Mirzad has gone home. I can call Mumtaz, no problem. He can come with you. No, there's no need for that. There's nobody in front of the house, and I thought that maybe for a change we'd go to the seaside, you know? If that's all right, Fatmagul. That sounds nice to me. All right, then. <laughs> yes, you should go. You haven't been alone in a while. It will be very good. I'll get my coat, just in case it's too cold. Is Kadir downstairs? Yes, he is. He's talking on the phone. Maybe he doesn't want you to listen in. 
I see that he makes phone calls when you're not around, you know? You can take that to the kitchen. Okay, okay. You should find out what's going on. And if you're cold, you can use the electric heater. Lock the door. It's a safe place. Don't worry. Don't you worry. I warned the security, too. I told them that you would be staying there. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, okay. Yes, I'll call you tomorrow. You have to stay there tonight, and if there's something new, just call me. Take care. Okay, you'll be fine. Good night and sleep well. You are still in here. Is there something wrong? Oh, uh, no, dear. There's nothing wrong. I can see that there is. Who is that on the telephone? Hasir Ovechik. She is staying in my office now. Her ex-husband is after her. He knows where she's living, and he's completely unreasonable. He came over here from Germany. And you just wanted to help her? Yes. Well, I mean that I couldn't just wait for him to show up and hurt her. Will you always try to help everyone who gets into trouble? Do you have to protect everyone? Don't we have enough problems in our family? What could I do? She needed help. She'll take the stand as a witness. How could I say I don't care about you? Uh, what is this? Where are you going? <sighs> We're going for a walk, okay? We'll be about an hour. Have fun and be careful. No, nah, don't worry. Okay, see you. everyone. Uh, Rami and Murad are watching TV and Faratine is resting downstairs. Oh, well, we didn't get to talk. Maybe he'll come upstairs. <sighs> Hello, Mumtaz. How are you? Hmm. Oh, I'm fine, yes. We have to find ourselves a new home as soon as possible. Yes, you can make the search. Then we'll show them to Fatma Gul and Karem after, understand? Thanks. scared. Don't be. I'm here. I know. fall into a panic if I can't meet your eyes. I feel that you're not just turning your eyes away from me, but that you're... <sighs> I'm just being scared like a little kid. It's not about you. I'm really so very tired, Karen. Sometimes I just don't want to see anybody, including you. I don't want to be invisible, thought Mughal. You're not invisible. Well, talk to me then. Nazihe told us that we have to talk about that night. We have to say everything. We have to be honest when we tell each other. That is, if you want to talk. But I'm also afraid to talk. I'm afraid that it will hurt us. Even if we don't talk about it, neither you or I can forget it. That's why I'm not afraid. Nothing will be more difficult than that will be.
I know what I am feeling now. I know what I feel about you. I really want to be a family. I want to forget everything when I'm with you. I do want this to happen, Fatmagul. Another problem will be solved on March 5th. It will, Fatmagul. It will. I want to be so happy. I want to share a life with you, and I want us to live in peace. I really don't want to give up hoping. No, don't give up. beginning and now everything will be better than it ever was we will have good days together I promise you I will make you happy I promise you <laughs> The judge rendered a verdict in the trial which was held today in Izmir. Mustafa Nalkali was found guilty of the murder of Viral Namli, the shooting of Karem Ilgaz, and the kidnapping of Fatma Ghul Ilgaz. He received a sentence of imprisonment for 22 years and two months. Mustafa, do you have any statement? Would you give us a statement? Please, 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 who has been standing trial for the murder of Baral Namli was overjoyed due to proving his innocence in the case. We're so happy that the truth's been revealed. But we'll be relieved when the actual case, uh, Fatma Ghul's case, ends and Erdogan and Salim Yasaran receive their sentence. Thank you, that's it. The key people in this case, which has the intense interest of the public, Erdogan and Selim Yasaran, are still missing, even with all the efforts by the police force. On the other hand, Haser Nalkali, who has given her testimony against her husband and the father of her expected baby, was under the intensive attention of the mainstream media. Mrs. Nalkali. Mrs. Haser. Mrs. Haser. What happened in the trial? Mrs. Haser. Did you give testimony against your husband? How do you feel? Haser and Alkali, who was seen exhausted after the trial, avoided giving any statement to the media and left the courthouse in what seemed to be an extreme hurry. The next news is from Adana. Another drug gang was overthrown by the operation of police forces. It was a traffic jam. It was very difficult coming here from the airport. Mm. Mm. Welcome home. Mm. 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 What happened? She is just so tired. 
Karem. Mm. Mm. Congratulations. You are on every single channel. Give me every single detail. Calm down, Mukadiz. Let him catch his breath. Hello there. Welcome Thank home. You. Welcome home. Welcome home. Thanks so much, the folks. Come in, come in. I better not. Have a good evening, everyone. Thank you for everything, sincerely. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Have a good night, okay? Yes, I will. Good, good evening. evening. Goodbye now. Good evening. Fatma Ghul. Fatma Ghul. Mirzad is going. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Fatma Ghul. It was my duty. I hope all the best for you. Good night now. Good, good night. night. Good night. Come on, get inside now. Now that the danger of Mustafa's over, we no longer need a guard. The others are gone too. It was on the news. They must have escaped. I'll bet they're abroad. I mean, they would never stay here, do you think? So is Murad asleep then? Both of them are. Oh, let me see them, please. I missed them. Let's have a cup of tea. Sound good? Oof. I think I'll change clothes. Want something to eat? We're full. We dined before boarding the plane. Does it still hurt you? Hmm. What happened all of a sudden? I don't know. It's been like this for a couple of days. But today it feels even worse. Did you hurt it or something? Well, I don't know. Wait till I wash my hands. I'll put some ice on it and massage it with olive oil. I was so curious that I could just die. What happened? Why don't you tell? What did the judge say? I'm so tired. Let's talk later. What did Mustafa do? I felt bad when I saw him. When I saw him on TV, they were taking him and he looked sad. Did he say anything to you? Fatmaku. Please forgive me. Thanks, Denise. How are you, Karim? I'm very happy, very fine. We are so happy, too. Fatma Ghul, congratulations to you. Thank you, to you as well. It's great, isn't it? She says something to you. I'm very confused and I don't understand what's going on. Wait a minute, what does she say? Now that the case is closed, they expect you to visit Australia. I hope so. But we must wait till the other case is closed. I'm banned from going abroad because of the other case. At least for now. I'll bring them both, don't worry. I hope so. Fatma Ghul, apply for your passport and start with the visa procedure. You'll come here first for the wedding. See, 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 she's stuck on the idea of a wedding. <laughs> oh, did you two already decide on the date yet? Not just yet. We'll tell you when we officially have a date, okay? <gasps> oh, what happened? The screen froze. You haven't talked to your wife. It's not a problem. We'll reconnect. Look at these. I'm coming now. <laughs> Does it hurt? A little bit. It will be a little bit better now. But you must see a doctor tomorrow, okay? She woke up, Mukadis. She woke up. Mm. Hello, Angel. Uh, what is it? I hope it's not broken. No, no. He couldn't bear it if it was. It used to hurt sometimes, but it didn't hurt enough to cause concern. But this time it hurts a lot. It may be due to stress. Stress may affect the body. Rami, please prepare some hot water for her bottle. Okay, okay. I couldn't ask you earlier. Hasser looks so devastated. What did she do? 
Did you come back on the same flight? No, she stayed in Izmir. She wants to see Mustafa. Omer is there. He will try to get permission for her. She's being ridiculous. Oh, Allah! How could Mustafa see her again? Oh, oh pardon. Pardon, my dear. She had him arrested by the police, and now she wants to see him? Come on, now! Really? It's a waste of time for Mr. Omer. It's nonsense. Mustafa will never see her. Ah. Rami! Ah. Hurry up! She's crying! Ah. Come back in here! Fatmago, I entrust my baby to you if I die. I see that you're enjoying the baby. Marat wanted to sleep with his mother, so Elif will stay with me tonight. Oh. Hey. Good night, Fatmukul. Yes, good night.